So the city of Springfield is about to grow in population by the thousands as rock and roll legendary band Aerosmith takes the stage at the Mass Mutual Center in, well, now just a few hours. Yeah, Aerosmith is living on the edge to dream on that they could walk this way to Springfield tonight. Get yeah, that? I know. You, you sold it. Thank Excellent. You. Hopefully you, you got that reference. Titles, arrows, right, songs. Right, right. Well, anyway, today we went in search of the Rock and Roll Hall of Famers reported to be in the house at MGM. Springfield is buzzing with rock legend excitement. Aerosmith is in town and staying in town as well at MGM Springfield. We heard it was going to be a good time, so we came down here to see what they're about. These two friends just flew in from Louisiana, checking into the MGM Hotel, hoping for a sighting later on in the casino. I hear that they normally stay, you know, in the high roller section and maybe play some blackjack. So they will try to, you know, walk our way into there and say hi and <laughs> see them in action. Tonight is just one of four shows Aerosmith is scheduled to perform at the Mass Mutual Center, part of the Deuces Are Wild tour. MGM Springfield President Mike Mathis tells Western Mass News it's a big catch for the city and MGM. I think it means everything. You know, we, we promised uh, to bring our world-class relationships with artists and performers to Springfield. And, you know, today we've had uh, Stevie Wonder, Cher, uh, now Aerosmith. The band rumored to already be in the house at the MGM Hotel. Did you just want to show me which, which hotel room? It's, <laughs> but did you want to let me in on that? No, well, we can no. turn the camera off. No, yeah, I don't want you to have binoculars <laughs> and... And, and spook our, our artists. I know how you get. With performances scattered between now and next Thursday, Mathis says fans may luck out with a sighting or two, but won't divulge any itinerary. As you can imagine, we're going to keep that under wraps in terms of their exact itinerary, but needless to say, um, they're staying at the property. They're going to be shuttling back and forth because I know they got a lot of friends and family in Boston, Boston area, but they're going to they're definitely get some Aerosmith sightings. Everybody's hoping so, mm -hmm. myself included. Well, fans may know Aerosmith does have Boston roots, formed in Beantown in the 70s. Most shows, we're told, are sold out. However, we are also told there are a few scattered seats still available. 